cut land cement because there is no question as to who owns the land. The land is owned by the East African Portland Cement Company. And even the uh, Honorable Robert Bui knows that. He also knows that there are leaders, current leaders and former leaders in the region, including former members of parliament, former county council chairmen, former councillors who grabbed this land and have sold the land to innocent buyers, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, it is one thing to come and pontificate here and in political rallies and funerals on the fight against corruption, then come to this house and seek to defend corruption and land grabbing. If there is anybody visiting atrocities to the people of Mavoko, it is the leadership within Machakos County that has perpetuated the grabbing of public land and a county government that continues to approve buildings on land that they know is not owned by the people who are seeking approval. How did they build houses that are approved by the county government of Machakos without requisite ownership documents, including a title deed? Those are the people who have visited atrocities on the people of Machakos and Mavoko. The governor Machakos County former chairman of county council, councils in Mavoko, like the member for Mavoko, who is a former chairman of the county council, must be held to account. They must tell the people of Kenya how and when was this land grabbed, what were their roles. Because you, could not, you cannot hide behind politics, as I have seen the Honorable Robert Mbui attempting to do in raising issues about where people are being evicted. Robert Mbui were with you in this house when the Uhuru Kenyatta government evicted people from Madare on the Siwa... Siwa. Well, 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 the, the majority leader will have two additional minutes to conclude. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I was saying the Honorable Robert Bui sat with me in this house just like the Honorable Pio Andai and the member for Mavoko sat with me in this house in the last regime under the handshake regime when in the midst of the COVID pandemic you mobilized tractors on a cold rainy night to demolish houses for the people in Madare and Waraka and you never condemned, you are cheering. I do not stand here today to cheer the demolition of houses. I stand here today to tell you, you must never ever defend corruption. You must never defend land grabbing. You must be at the forefront as leaders in this house to defend the sanctity, not just of a title deed, but also the sanctity of court orders. The leader of minority cannot say he does not care whether there is a court order or not. What will happen tomorrow, Honorable Speaker? If people invade the Honorable Pio's two-acre farm in Ubunja, or his 20 acres, and, they, 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 and he, he gets a quarter that you evict them, and he can't evict them, government must be allowed to work and enforce court orders, just like any other. Honorable Speaker, you, among the people I have had in the recent past, you remember last year there was an incident where people invaded Uhuru Kenyatta's land and I had said Honorable Speaker, if you can protect me from this lady from Busia order a penchant for shouting order on the order in your that makes no sense to anybody order protect me from the lady and you know, I, I once said something about her hair now, don't make me say something about your teeth Honorable, Honorable Catherine Omanyo <laughs> Majority Leader o order Order, Honorable Mem, Honorable Catherine Omanyo. You talk to the House through the Speaker. And I've said each one of us will be heard in silence. The Majority Leader, you have 15 seconds to wind up. Honorable Speaker, I was saying only recently, last year, when Uhuru Kenyatta's land was invaded, and I had issued a caution, uh, yeah, Mwenje, Honorable Mwenje, uh, reminds me to this year, and I had issued a cautionary statement to Uhuru Kenyatta and his family 
Honorable Speaker, you had the other day the chairman of Mungiki 